Okay, we got a little bit of business to clean up here at the beginning of uh, episode 85. We need to go back and get a couple of mini kits out of the Rise of Ultron level, and then we're going to move on to the Ultron Undone level and start working our way through the mini kits that are there. So, you know, we're just going to grab a couple guys and jump in. And just a couple things to show here. Uh, first off is in the first section with the Hulk and Black Widow. Uh, you only need... So you see this bar going around? Black Widow needs to jump and go all the way around on these bars before she shoots the two targets. And then you can see the little Avenger symbols and then it will get your little PDA screen up. And that opens up another target for you to shoot at. And shooting at that target reveals the missing mini kit. All right, then you need to go back up, obviously, and shoot the rest of the targets uh, to progress onto this part of the level. So, you know, let's uh, leave this section, and now let's jump into the second section of the level where we also left one mini kit unfound. And that mini kit is over here. We have to release the birds and then we had to go find and kill all the birds. And if you remember last time we killed four of the five birds but not the fifth one because I couldn't really figure out where it was. Now I can show you exactly where that bird is. Right, so you go back through the uh, wrecked apartment building house whatever you want to call it and there is the the missing bird hanging outside on this side you can't shoot him through the house unfortunately you need to fly outside and then you can shoot him uh, then you can come around and shoot him over here all right then the other birds are back over you know in this general area we, we've shot them all before we're going to shoot them once again, this time with spacesuit Iron Man, just uh, I guess for a little variety. He said he shot the second one. Here's the third one up here. The fourth one right here, and then the fifth one down on the bottom, perched on that box of something. And that gives us the tenth and final uh, mini kit that we were missing, so we can go ahead and bounce out of the level now. And we can look at doing the real damage, which is starting the final uh, level of the story mode, the Ultron Undone level. Again, my uh, stud total, if you've been fo tracking it for the past few episodes, I uh, have been buying red bricks off screen, so that's why it keeps fluctuating. I'm all over this game. At what point do I stop being a cameo and start okay, being and there's us getting the uh, comic book cover. All right, and now here we are looking at the uh, Ultron Undone level. So you see here we're missing eight mini kits, a couple of character tokens. We have not rescued Stan Lee. And we have not found the red brick. So we need to go ahead into the first part, and um, I'm going to grab Falcon for this, not because, again, not because Falcon's the best suited character, but just trying to use a, just trying to use him, because I like the Falcon. I just don't, you know, he's not. In, if you're gonna fly, you know, why not choose Iron Man? If you're gonna, 
blow thing. I mean, if you're going, no. if you're going to do other things, you know, like with grapples and stuff, there are other characters you can pick. So the first part of this level is escorting the little um, lifeboats to the helicarrier. And here you can be either Iron Man or you can be War Machine. And as this is the only time in the story mode other than the Iron Man 3 level where you can play as Rhodes, um, that's what I did in the story mode. Uh, and here we're going to do things a little bit different. There's a mini kit flying around, and there is a lifeboat, so we need to go and get down to the lifeboat where the indicator does B for us. So that's one down, and now we got to get some more. But yeah, those, I, um, again, I like War Machine better for doing the, the kind of aerial fighting like this, just because he's got that, it's because he's got that extra gun, shoots at a, a little bit better rate, gives you some more options. See here, we got our stud multiplier up, and Iron Man is now shooting three repulsors instead of just one. Now, because uh, we looked at the thing earlier, you know, we already have the other two uh, mini kits from this first part. There's a repeated cutscene for whatever reason. So now it's just a matter of beating this early, this part to move on to the. Uh, the next part of the level where we start facing off with with uh, Ultron himself or itself right another successful escort job there and there's the next one uh, that we'll be doing In a sense, uh, fighting with the, you know, fighting over the lifeboats doesn't really make much sense for Ultron. All of his plans hinge on this single moment right here. Uh, there's no real reason for him to send his Ultron minions after the lifeboats. It does make sense to keep Iron Man and Thor, or sorry, Iron Man and War Machine busy, but... Speaking of Thor, we are going to... You know, we now have Thor and Vision, and I didn't really have any control over picking these characters to this part. Doesn't mean I can't switch now that I'm in the level. But we got to be careful because once we beat the Ultron boss, we're going to leave this area, and so we won't be able to get to all the stuff. So we hit him the first time there, I just need to make sure that I don't hit him anymore until after I'm comfortable that I've scoured the level uh, for all the neat stuff that should be here. You can see the white uh, arrows, you can see I can't really get to them right now. Changing characters for a second. Changing back, because of course Thor can't heal himself, but Vision can. You can play jump rope with uh, Ultron's laser. We also haven't gotten true Avenger status on this level, so I mean that's something else that we need to watch out for. Alright, looks like we've opened up an area uh, 
for exploration. So let's see if we can head uh, to some new places now. You know, we've got plenty of white arrows paying around here. Looks like there's a glistening object on the right over here. And glistening objects mean Ultron boxes. So let's go get Ultron and open the box. Or in this case, open the pile of stuff. And there is one mini kit. It's a good deal. We're up to four mini kits. Uh, we have all, you know, so we're right where we should be as far as mini kits go. And then we need to keep moving around. Uh, looks like there's a place where I can use Vision's laser after I fly up and grab this mini kit up here. To get there, I'm going to have to use uh, Thor or another character to break through the wall there. Okay, I think that I accidentally summoned some minions as Ultron, but it would be really hard to know since they look the exact same as the minions that Ultron's bring me in to the level. Alright, so Hulk breaks through there, which will allow the vision to burn out these little gears down here. that will cause the bell to drop on Ultron. So that was something we've done before. So that, that wasn't new. Um, looks like there's something over here. Hard to see in the shadows what that is. Whether it's something we can build or something we need to dig for. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a dig pit. It's really hard to make out in the dark. Okay, but like I said, I'm also looking out for more studs because this is the last level where we haven't collected the True Avenger rank uh, for studs. Okay, there is a grapple point behind, in the shadow of the wall, and that gave us the uh, character token for Thanos. So we can kind of move on beyond that now, and look around over here. And there's a you know, there's, it's interesting, you can see Hulk fighting in the background, um, and there are little Hulk bars to lift over here, so we're going to, might have one of those rare double Hulk sightings, like a, like a double rainbow. There you go. Okay, so now you can see we clearly have the parts of mini kit uh, to build over here. There it is, using a little telekinesis. Now we get six mini kits accounted for, and now we're back to looting the area for all of its studs. It does appear that the Ultron Troopers drop a few studs themselves. All right, here's another area we uh, we can explore.
And there is a purple stud back there, and we'll definitely want that. And we can't get to that gold wall back there just yet. Because it's covered in debris. We need somebody to clear the debris. And that somebody's name is Ultron, so I can't really... Uh... Now there's a... It looks like a dig hole. Yeah, I mean, these are... You know, there's a couple of dig holes right here, so let's see if we can use these dig holes for whatever they're supposed to be used for. Alright, so we'll send in Black Panther, and after a super move, we'll send him digging up there, and he uncovers another mini kit. Okay, so that's now seven mini kits. So just three left. We still haven't rescued Stan. We still haven't found the collector in this level, and we still haven't. Um, got the true Avenger bonus yet. All right, saving our progress. Get Ultron out of the bell there. Now we can fist fight him before he goes back up uh, here again. And then we have to fight his attacks. So right now it's the Vision and Black Panther uh, versus the Ultron army. Making our progress there. Okay, we're back to playing uh, jump rope. All right, and now Ultron's finally piled up enough to reveal this golden wall back here that we're going to use to create the next weapon uh, to drive him nuts with. Alright, so we've opened up some uh, material from the wall, and we're going to use it to create an organ uh, over here. And just as Ultron was born in a room with a piano, uh, we're going to bring him to his end uh, in a place where there's an organ. Of course, we're going to need to charge up this organ. And Black Panther and Vision can't do that, so I'm going to switch away from Black Panther and introduce a character that we uh, that I unlocked off screen um, just to get a different lightning based character without using Thor or the Iron Bulldog all the time. And it's Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill with his horse skull face. Um, and his magic hammer uh, that he was given Stormbreaker I think is its name or something like that and so now we've got the main event that you've all been waiting for Ultron versus Beta Ray Bill All right, so now Beta Ray Bill has to fight off Ultron's influence here and he does successfully.
So Ultron now goes to choke Thor, and what you need to do with Vision here is uh, simple. You just need to pick up the hammer. Now, the trick is we can't come back to this area. It's going to switch to a new board. So if there's any, like, if there's any studs or anything that you know that are around we need to pick them up now and as you can see we'll finish her off next time